Hey guys, so it is a few weeks past our first expected frost and I am going to um, harvest all of the rest of the summer vegetables that are still growing. Um, we've had some beautiful summer weather lingering but the forecast is calling for uh, temperatures to drop so I'm just going to collect whatever I've got growing in the yard and um, share that with you guys today. So here we go. <music> So I'm just going to grab the eggplants and then I think I just have some herbs back here and then I'll be moving to the other parts of the yard. Um, so yeah, here we go. Definitely need shears to cut these things. If you try to rip them off, you're most likely going to damage the vegetables, plants, and the plant itself. Oops. What's growing in the greenhouse here? Ooh, these peas. Those look just about ready. Got a bunch of stuff growing. My hair's this summer. Stuff in the back. Got a few more eggplants going. This guy is pretty big. Definitely ready. Boop. This little guy here. And some nice peppers too. Get those. They're little, but that's okay. cucamelons growing. There might be some in there somewhere. Little things hiding out. I'll check that in a minute. Okay. So you guys can see these little guys are not quite there yet they they can be eaten at this size apparently um, but I'm just gonna leave them since these ones are in the little greenhouse here um, they do have a bit of a chance we'll see what happens and then also these sweet peppers they're so cute but there's lots of them on there so I'm hoping those will those will make it um, we'll see how the weather is this year little guy not quite ready so yeah I'll leave these ones for a bit so I only found one antsy little cucamelon um, on this plant and I'm gonna go check the other one at the side of the house I think there's a few on there so tiny ones. Uh, maybe I'll start them a little earlier next year. We'll see. I'm pretty sure there's some on this side of the fence. These are kind of little. That one's good. Let's see if there's any down here. 
I'm not seeing. Oh, I think I just a little tiny one. I'll let that go for a couple more days. Come back for that one. As you can see, this is not holding up very well, but that's okay. It's the end of the season, so we're gonna take this thing down, anyways. And here, and I think, oh, one more. Oops, oh, not bad, a little handful. Um, so at the side garden here, I also have a ton of kohlrabi growing and some of it is ready, so I'm going to harvest that as well. I think I'll leave the rest. They are cold tolerant, so um, I'll let them get a little bit bigger and harvest them a little later. So last, I'm gonna go up to the front. I do have um, the sweet potato slip that I left in uh, the other bed, so I'm gonna pull that up. And also, um, I think there's a few beets that are ready, um, so I'm gonna pull those up as well at the front there. This is just one slip. That's pretty amazing. Oops. Oh, <laughs> my peas. Oopsie. Planted that way too close. I'm gonna dig and see if there's more. In there. there we go. Nice sized potato. This one's pretty stuck in there. Sweet. So it's getting dark. Um, I'll probably do my herbs tomorrow, um, but that is a decent haul for today, so I'm pretty happy with that. <sighs> nice way to end the summer. <laughs> So that is the end of my summer harvest, probably my last of the summer veggies and we're going, well, we're well into fall already so um, we're going to be harvesting some of those things very soon. Um, we'll see if the weather holds out, maybe we'll get a few more days of summer weather, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's 
That's a wrap.